Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, just a few months back, uh, I had announced that uh, I, along with the Udemy courses and the live courses that I'm actually doing, I'm also parallelly building a Gen AI product, you know, which will definitely be used by many, many people because it solves a very important problem statement uh, right now, which people are actually facing. Uh, so in this particular video, I'm very happy to announce, you know, uh, we have actually built the MVP product. Uh, so I have hired a couple of developers along with me, uh, you, know, you know, and we are specifically building this particular product from past couple of months. Um, in this video, I just want to show you the demo uh, and also give you an idea what all things are specifically coming up in this particular product. And right now it is not yet in the launchable state. Uh, probably it'll take another couple of months uh, because there are a lot of fine tuning that needs to be done uh, with respect to this. Uh, the product that we were specifically building uh, was a platform where it can probably take mock interviews for any kind of IT professional, let it be machine learning engineer, web development, DevOps, any kind of roles that you really are looking for. So let's go ahead and probably show you the demo just to give you an idea how the platform looks like. Uh, this is the platform over here. And uh, just to talk about this particular platform, uh, you will be able to see that, hey, uh, this is how it looks like, you know, and I'm just showing you the product that we have developed. But uh, later on, I will be probably showing you the full fledged version of this particular product right now. Just one sample example wherein you should be able to uh, attend the machine learning in uh, engineering interview prep right now it is not available for everyone okay but i'll make it available uh you know soon as soon as possible but i really want to show you the demo how it probably goes ahead you know so let's go ahead and let's check out the demo and uh, let me show you that how this platform easily takes all the mock interview and how it helps a job per, uh, a person who really needs job to practice mock interviews in an efficient way yeah, and this is completely made based on Gen AI, but we have used many, many LLM models in the back end. We are also fine tuning the LLM models uh, with respect to this. We have used vector databases. Uh, we are also integrating some resume creation platform within this. So let's go ahead and let's check this out. So guys, so uh, this is how the platform looks like, you know, so over here, uh, right now, machine learning engineer interview is probably going on a mock interview is going on. On the right hand side, you can probably see my facial features along with that. Uh, what are the various parameters we are trying to track? Attention, positivity, arousal, confidence, happy, uncomfortable. All these parameters uh, we are basically tracking over here on the right hand side. Along with this here, you will be able to see that we are able to see some message. Welcome. I'm glad you're here today. So this is a message from the mock interviewer. OK, uh, I mean, <laughs> from the person who is basically interviewing us, you know. Right now, uh, uh, I'm also trying to train a model with my voice uh, and specifically with my uh, materials that I've shared in GitHub, uh, you know, YouTube channel and all. Uh, so it is taking a lot amount of time because we really want to create the best model possible. And over here, uh, specifically with respect to machine learning, you know, um, whatever experience that I specifically have, we'll try to put that particular information. But uh, this is just like a bot uh, which will try to communicate. I will try to talk to you. Okay. So let's go ahead and let me show you all this information is basically getting captured here. A timer is also going on and here you can actually see all these things. So let's start uh, the mock interview. Welcome. I'm glad you're here today. Could you start by giving a brief introduction about yourself and your experience in machine learning? Hey there, my name is Krish Naik and uh, I'm having more than 14 plus years of experience and more than 10 plus years of experience in the field of data science. I've developed some of the amazing AI products. Uh, I've worked in fields like uh, NLP, computer vision. I've also worked with generative AI. Uh, I've worked with various LLM models. I've fine tuned them. Along with that, I've developed a lot of end-to-end -end projects, uh, including MLOps tools. Uh, so this was a pretty much brief intro about myself. So now it is processing. And now you'll be able to get the response along with the feedback. Thank you for the introduction, Krush Nayak. It's great to hear about your extensive experience and the diverse range of projects you've undertaken. I'd love to dive a bit deeper into one of your end-to-end -end projects. 
Could you pick one you're particularly proud of and walk me through it, focusing on the project life cycle, from initial conception to deployment? Specifically, I'm interested in understanding the problem you were solving, the approach you took, the models you used, and any challenges you faced along the way. So I would like to probably talk about my project step by step. Uh, so I was working uh, in a specific logistic domain and the problem statement was that a company wanted to procure a raw materials uh, for the upcoming six months based on various climatic conditions and uh, uh, the growth of that specific crop. Um, for this, uh, we initially started with the data ingestion. We were dependent on data from various third party APIs uh, because we required weather data. And some of the data were already internal data. Uh, some of the data were already present in the internal database of the company, which we have specifically used uh, to create the data ingestion pipeline. So every time it will also give you the feedback. So here you can Thank see. you for that overview, Crush Nayak. It sounds like a fascinating project. Let's break it down into its components, starting with the data pipeline. Could you explain a bit more about the data ingestion process? Specifically, how did you handle data from third-party APIs and integrate it with internal data? Were there any particular challenges you faced in ensuring data quality and consistency across these diverse sources? So uh, first of all, uh, we were looking for the weather data. You know, the weather data was probably got from a third party paid APIs. Uh, so from that particular API, we were able to ingest that data with the help of Airflow MLOps tool. Uh, then um, regarding the internal data that was present in the company database, we used MySQL over there and uh, we created a separate pipeline with the help of Airflow to ingest that particular uh, uh, data from the MySQL. Then uh, what we did is that we performed data ingestion wherein we combined both our data and converted it into a JSON and finally we created an ETL pipeline to finally load the data into our MongoDB database. So this was the overall uh, fundamental things that we had actually done in the data ingestion. Obviously we communicated a lot with our domain expert or, or the product manager who are taking care of the entire logistic team. So similarly, you can probably uh, continue the interview and you can uh, like the machine learning interviewer will specifically ask you questions uh, based on the timestamp. So once it probably comes towards one minute, then the machine learning interviewer will ask like, do you have any kind of queries at all? Right. So we are still developing these amazing things. You can see everywhere the feedback is there right now. It is showing cr crush Nayak, you know. To overcome this disadvantage, you know, what we are doing is that first of all, we'll tell the candidate to upload the interview and then we'll try to explore or get all the information from the from the uh, resume. Um, and uh, like they need to upload the resume initially and then we will be able to get the information and then the name will also become correct. You know, so all these things are probably going on. And uh, here you'll be able to see some amazing things will be happening. But the main important things like after the interview gets completed, you just need to go ahead and click on done. And then there will be an option to show you show analysis. Okay. So once you probably just go ahead and click on show analysis here, uh, that building report is basically happening. And here you can see that the entire report will get created, right? Along with the entire conversation that you had with the interviewer, right? Over here, which is the weak skills, moderate skills, strong skills, all this information. Probably I did not continue the interview show. It is showing me a weak skill in machine learning. But other than that, the communication score, uh, some NAN values is also coming. Technical knowledge, I think we did not go to that particular question. So that is the reason it is showing NAN. Confidence matters. So there are some bugs. Uh, we really need to fix it. You know, and then we are also giving an option to make it public or private. You know, and again, based on that, I will be recommending you some of the courses, some of the free e videos and all. Right. So there are a lot many things that will be uh, coming up with this platform. But uh, I was super excited to show you some amazing things that we are doing uh, over here. We are building this particular product. And as you see, right, as we go ahead, more new, new things will be probably coming up. So just let me know whether did you like this demo or altogether? And uh, were you able to see all these things, uh, the kind of uh, thing that I'm actually building? But the main uh, question that will probably come in everybody's mind, just start thinking of the tech stack that we are specifically using. 
uh, here uh, i'll just give you uh, in the front end is being built on nextjs the back end is completely being built on django along with that we are using generative ai llm models now the best part of this particular thing will be that they will not be just one or two llm models that we are specifically using we are using a combination of 15 to 20 plus llm models you know uh, in the back end uh, we will try to fine tune this particular model with different different data there's so many things so many amazing things that will be coming up and uh, i feel that uh, the for the first one couple of months i will give this particular platform for everybody to access it completely for free uh, because once we specifically get some amount of data with that data we'll again fine tune your model and we'll try to make it much more better as we go ahead right but just start thinking about the tech stack for the computer vision for the face for for all the expressions that are coming from the face how well, like what kind of models we are specifically using voice what all things we are basically integrating there's so many integration points that are there even the voice that you'll be seeing soon it will be my voice let's say for my machine learning uh, interview let's say if you're going with web development interview i will talk with some more good personalities who are there in the industry will take their voice will take their materials github you know videos and we'll try to train the model based on that so there are a lot many things that will be coming up so i hope uh, you like this particular demo this was it from my side i will see you all in the next video uh, please make sure that you write down amazing comments and say that how the platform looks like and uh, whether it is a good initiative or not so yes this was it from my side i'll see you all in the next video thank you take care